Hello, friends. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today, we are demonstrating how to enter the payment process request in payables using the unpaid invoices, right? So this is the uh, this is how we can enter the invoices and make the payment in batches, right? For that reason, we need to go to the payables. This is the home page. Go to payables and go to payments. So prior to that, we need to uh, create an invoice, a payable invoice. Let's check, is there any unpaid invoice? No. So let me enter an invoice. Go to create an invoice. Enter a business unit. Supplier name. Enter the number. Invoice amount, $1,000. Go to line level. Enter the line amount, $1,000. Distribution. And create a new line for the distribution. Select the company code and then business unit, business account, okay, that's our account. And then save and close. So similarly, we can uh, create n number of invoices and then validate it and, okay, this is validated and we can save and close. And now we are going uh, to make the payment. Let's refresh the dashboard of payable invoices. So this is the unpaid invoice, right? Unaccounted, the date of, right? So now go back to the navigator or the home page. Here we need to go to the payments. And so in normal practice, what we need to do, we need to create the template first, payment process request template, and so that we need not to uh, enter every time the, we need to select the bank or payment document number, pay, payment process profiles. So already I have defined one payment template. Let me select it. Yeah, so here we can define the payment template. So I have defined it for you. This is MDH payment template and this all, these are all the selection criteria. So date, this is a due date. So we can date, uh, check, uh, select the either way, due or pay date, right? So pay group currency, business unit, or, or if you want to select uh, for a particular uh, business unit, so so I can select here for payments or for invoice creation. So I can select here or it would work for all. You can select it. Payment method also you can select here. Is it, it can be uh, checks or clearing or bills, paper, electronics and all. So on the next step, payment and processing options, we can, uh, we need to select a disbursement bank payment document number, name, and payment process profile. Other than that, if this is a cross-currency payments, so in that case, we need to select, we need the uh, conversion rates as well. So it was not uh, uh, available in EBS, the cross-currency payment. Now we have in Fusion this functionality. So you need to select the validation future hand handling like reject all the document for pay, reject all documents in request, reject only documents with errors. So this is a standard that we need to normally usually we are using this and payment reject only payment when it would be the in error, okay? So then 
this is how we can define a payment process request template. Now, go back to task panel and submit a payment process request here. So let me select the PPR one. Okay, so let me select the template here. Yeah, this is a template or we have defined already. And you can see the payment process options already been populated here. Once we have selected the template over there, what we need to do, we need to select the party. For which party you want to run the payment process request for the hit supplier. I want to run the request. So now after selecting and reviewing all the details, I need to submit it. Okay. Now you can refresh it. Or you can go to the manage payment process request and put over here the name of the PPR that we have submitted recently. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have entered the wrong name. Let me enter the correct name. Go to manage payment process request. Okay, this we have done and go uh, after going here by going into the navigation, manage payment process request, the action that need to be taken. The current status is pending process proposed payment review, right? So this is nothing, this is a payment validation stage and status is pending proposed payment review. First of all, we need to take the review of the payment that being processed. So this is a payment. You can review how many payments you want to, uh, you can also remove the payments that you don't want to pay, right? So, so this is the invoice number. That's a part of this PPR, right? So what we can do, we can resume the payment process again, click on that on the top right. Okay, refresh it. Keep refreshing it because the status will be changing. Okay. So now uh, our payment stage is payment file processing. This is the second stage already been built. Payment already been built and now the next step would be file processing created and ready to for print. So you can review here the, the file format. You can take a look and then proceed further. This is a payment file. Here it is, the formatted ready to print, you can review here. If you download it on your desktop, you can take a look on that. Yeah. Right? All right, so next step would be the action that we need to take on here, formatting from ready to printing, we click on the action, go to task. So currently we don't have uh, configured the printer to, uh, you just need to keep in your mind, earlier in EBS, we, uh, we had the DBA teams to configure the printer, right? Now in Fusion and our cloud application, we need to take the help of, uh, Oracle itself. 
we need to raise an SR to configure the printer and uh, take the help from the Oracle itself and we can configure the printer and print the payments, right? Currently, as in the, this is a test instance and we don't have configured the printer. So, click on print, refresh it. Okay, the next step is submit it. We have submitted the for printing. Record the print status. Now we are just going to record the print status. Submit it, just review it and the, and this is a warning, don't confirm payment unless you are sure and all payments in the, this file are complete and were processed by the payment system of the financial institution. So this is all the warning that you need to just take a look and then if you're satisfied, then click on record the print status. Click on done. Now you can see the status has been changed and the stage already been changed to payment file confirmed, right? So <clears throat> click on done. So here it is, this is the payment already been completed here on the next tab, recently completed on the dashboard, payment dashboard this is, and you can check the payment status now of that particular invoice, go back to the invoice and check the status of the payment of that particular invoice. Now you can see INV03, this was the invoice and it's now been fully paid. So this is how we can run the payment process request and make the payment for the desired suppliers or list of invoices, we can make the payment. Hope you are, uh, you will just, uh, this is a fruitful video for you. Please like and share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.